Uh, uh. That's a classic. I know, right? Uh, man, we are mourning the loss of Shock G today. Um, but we're going to serve up our celebrity dish, and we're going to do it with one of the best who we always love to see, Leah Henry, joining us. Hey, lady. Hey, hey, good morning. You know, we're thirsty for some of that lemonade, Leah. <laughs> We were here, you know, bouncing to uh, Shock G, and, and of course, uh, he passed away uh, yesterday, and we're all mourning the creator of Humpty Hump. Uh, the legend was born Greg Jacobs. He in Digital Underground. Listen to it a little bit. Oh, one of the best songs in hip hop. He shot the stardom uh, with the Billboard Top 10 hit, Humpty Dance, in 1990. He also worked in Discover Tupac Shakur. Shock G was found dead yesterday in Tampa. Now his cause of death is unclear at this hour, but the hip hop legend was 57 years old. And you know what, Leah? I didn't know that he discovered Tupac. That was news to me when I was reading up yeah. on his life, but I'm definitely familiar uh, with this music. What are your thoughts? Yeah, same. I mean, listen, I, I think, you know, we are losing these hip hop legends, whether it's Big Rob, whether it's DMX, now Shock G. So it's it's a time of mourning for the hip hop community. And, you know, ultimately, I'm glad that, you know, with verses and things like that, we've been able to give people their flowers. I mean, he's single handedly responsible for us, the world knowing Tupac, right. which, you know, is in almost everybody's top five rappers. So, I mean, it's sad news praying for his family from what it seems. It's unexpected, but the cause of death is unknown. So hopefully, you know, they can figure that out and, um, you know, pay him his respects. I mean, if you think about the mark he left, I mean, Digital Underground, I remember the New York Times writing that the Digital Underground, like, took over where the parliament left yep. off, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, so mm -hmm. it's just, um, you're right. It, it, it's these legendary people that we're lo losing that really has created where we are today. So I'm glad that we yeah. do get to celebrate his life, though it was a life... Um, Cut too short, for and sure. Holly, you yeah. mentioned Parliament. They had that funk yeah. sound in rap, which made them particularly unique. And I saw an article today that said that they influence artists like, well, Kanye West, early Kanye, and Outkast, uh, in particular, mm. Andre 3000. And when you think about it, you can see that even down to the fashion and just bringing something different to the rap game. So he certainly made an impact for sure. Hey, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Meek Mill apparently vying for the title of favorite grandchild after <laughs> buying his grandmother a brand new home. Let's go ahead and bring in producer Chris for details on this one. It's I not mean, that a would... competition at this point. Though. Right? I exactly. Mean, like, right. Talk about raising the bar for paying it forward. <laughs> he earned that title, favorite grandchild hands down and he did it like you said by buying his grandmother a brand new house so the rapper shared his grandmother's stunned reaction with his social media followers on his instagram page he gifted her with a new house in philadelphia it's got sweeping views of the philly skyline he took us on a little tour all the different rooms the house also comes with a power chair for her to get upstairs meek said this is a way for him to look out for his grandmother who was visibly Aww. shocked by the gesture back in 2018 her home was targeted by vandals hmm. who spray painted the wall one of my favorite things about this is I'm a little bit familiar with the neighborhood of South Philadelphia. And what I love is you could walk by that house on the street and it would look like just another row home from the outside. But then you walk in and it is absolutely beautiful. So just an awesome gesture by Meek Mill for his grandmother. Leah? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm glad, you know, Meek Mill gets such a hard time on the internet. Um, I mean, they're always clowning him, but I think that that's one of the goals when you make it, right? I make it and then I secure my family. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that Meek Mill is doing that for his grandma because, you know, she probably looked out for him at a time before we knew him as Meek mm -hmm. Mill. So that was great. It's so funny you mentioned all the clapbacks and things that he go through online because when I saw him trending, the first thing I thought, oh my gosh, who is he going at it with now? Uh, you know, so I was good to see it was for a positive reason for change. Way to go, Meek Mill. I'm feeling like a total failure as a grandchild. But other than that, I, know. I think it's Great. awesome. <laughs> Raise that bar for all of us. Yeah. Exactly. All right, let's talk about Snoop Dogg next because he is giving whole new meaning to the term the highest office in the land oh. because <laughs> you know he smoked weed with a lot of stars, but now he is implying that he lit up with the former commander in chief, okay? So the hip hop icon just dropped a new album. It's called From the Streets to the Sweets. <laughs> and one of the songs in that album, it's called Gang Signs, features a reference to smoking marijuana in the presence of former President Barack Obama. It actually does more than that. It implies that he actually smoked with an Obama. He doesn't say which one. I 
should remind you, but neither Obama or Snoop have commented publicly about the lyrics. <laughs> but I'll just say, you know, Snoop Dogg was live in the loft on Good Day DC one time, and uh, it wouldn't really surprise me. Let's just put it that way. Was it a different aroma that day around a, him? Yes, it was. I would say so. <laughs> we were a little concerned when Stephen Wisdom and Snoop went outside, oh, but you know, we didn't want to ask any. We didn't want to ask any questions. That's right. You know, I went to a Snoop Dogg concert years ago, and all I can say is I could not. Afterwards? That, and I couldn't speak. I couldn't talk for three days. It was so much smoke. <laughs> great music, but I paid for it. But uh, of course, he's a great entertainer. I did see, though, Chris, that um, there was an article that said in a previous interview with Jimmy Kimmel, yep. he admitted to smoking in a restroom at the White House. The White House yep. And so we'll mm -hmm. just have to see, like, if it was really somebody involved. Oh, but I mean, if you're well, going to. Go ahead, Leah. Well, I was going to say Obama has said publicly before mm -hmm. that he did indulge. So Barry ain't new to, you know, good weed, okay? <laughs> and secondarily, we know Obama, when he first started out in office, he was smoking cigarettes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Michelle was like, mm. so let's just say that uh, 45, uh, 44, I mean, is, is used to some indulging. Uh huh. And I'm just going to say, if you're going to smoke with someone, if Snoop Dogg showed up and said, hey, I mean, even if you've never done it before, you'd be like, I'm all in. Yeah. <laughs> right? That is hilarious. Right. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yes. We're going to stay high, a different kind of high oh, now, yeah. money high. Uh, oh, when they go low, we, we get go, high. Right? I mean, we go high. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know what? We want to know this. Is Cardi B, is she getting into the beauty game? Well, according to TMZ, it looks like she's making her money moves. The site obtained trademark documents showing Cardi's company, Wash Poppin'. That's the name of it, Wash Poppin'. Just filed papers to lock down legal rights to the phrase Barty Beauty. According to TMZ, Cardi is looking into selling cosmetics, fragrances, hair care, skin care, and more under the brand. Last month, Cardi said on Instagram that she will be releasing a hair care line later this year, and it looks like she's on her way. Leah, are you buying? Are you into this? Yeah, like if you watch Cardi B on social media, like she was literally making up conditioners for her own daughter's hair. So obviously it's turned into a passion project for her. Um, and she also said, you know, she's grown her hair extremely long. If you remember Cardi B a couple years ago, her hair was not nearly mm -hmm. as long as it was. So listen, I'm here for it. Get a bag while you can, because, you know, these days artists are here like this and then they're gone in a minute. So while you got your 10 seconds of fame, <laughs> go ahead and capitalize. Man, and she's got the alliteration, Barty Beauty. I love it, right? I mean, it works. Right. It's just it's, it's tailor made for her. So I say, make yeah. your brand as big as you can. Yeah. Wash right. popping for maybe WAP. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, possibly. Ooh. Well, you got to do the hot spots, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> you got to get the hot spots. We'll have to see. <laughs> Thanks so much, Leah. You're always a blast. <laughs> we all went. Oh, <laughs> have a good Friday.